Hello everyone, AY Electronics, Ahmed here. Today I am back with another project and this time it is an Arduino obstacle avoider. So let's start by uh, looking at the parts and tools needed to complete this project. First uh, of all, you will need uh, some type of chassis. I am using this chassis that I reviewed in a previous video. You will also need uh, an Arduino or an Arduino compatible board. I am using the Arduino Uno R3. You will also need your HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. I prefer buying one with a holder so it will be easier to mount on your chassis. A switch. You will also need some jumper cables. You, uh, you will need both male to male and uh, male to female. You will need an H bridge. I am using this L293D. And last but not least, you will need some uh, nuts and screws to mount everything together. Uh, now uh, the tools needed, nose pliers, a soldering iron and some solder, a couple of screwdrivers, some zip ties, wire cutters, a cable to connect your Arduino to the computer, and if you are using my chassis you will need some type of drill to uh, make a larger hole for the switch. Okay, so uh, this is it for the parts and tools, now let's get started with the build. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to take the cover off of this car, so that's what I will do right now. Alright, I finished unscrewing the top and uh, it should come right off. So what I will do is I will connect both right motors to motor A and both left motors to motor B. So uh, let's do that. Alright, as you can see, I finished joining the wires, now it's time to connect them to the motor driver. Unfortunately, I lost uh, a couple of screws uh, off of these terminal blocks, so I soldered uh, two wires to the back of the circuit, so that I can easily connect wires to, uh, to these two pins. I recommend that you solder both of these wires together and then extend a short sol a solid core cable which you will uh, later mount into the terminal block. Alright guys, as you can see I finished mounting the motor wires onto the edge bridge. I even added some electrical tape to seal all of the solder joints. Now it's time to connect the battery holder onto the edge bridge. Alright guys, I am done connecting the battery wires, now I will use a zip tie to secure all of these wires in place. And now I will use a bolt and a screw to secure this edge bridge in on the chassis. Alright guys, now it's time to mount the ultrasonic sensor on the chassis. Alright guys, so now to the code. But before I explain the code, I would like to explain how does the HCSR4 and most other ultrasonic sensors work. So basically when you send a pulse to the trigger pin, the, this will cause the ultrasonic sensor to send uh, an ultrasonic wave which is then reflected by the object and back to the sensor when the sensor receives the ultrasonic wave the echo pin will go high for a very short duration of time when this pulse is detected we measure the duration of time between the trigger pin going high and the echo pin going high this is basically the time needed for the wave to travel twice the distance uh, to get the distance, we use speed equal to distance over time, where time is half the time uh, between the trigger and the echo pin going on. So now, Alright, so now to explaining the code. In the first two lines, I am defining the trigger and the echo pin as pin 2 and 10. This is basically where they are connected on the Arduino. 
Here I am defining the four inputs of the H bridge. Here I am setting all the pins as outputs except for the echo pin, which is input as we expect a signal to be received. In the loop, first of all I am initiating two constants, duration and distance. Duration is the time needed for the wave to reach the object and come back and distance is the distance we will calculate. Uh, first of all I set the trigger pin I for just one second to send an ultrasonic pulse and then we calculate the time needed for, uh, for the echo pin to go high. This is basically set as a uh, duration. And to obtain the distance, we divide the half the duration, which is the duration for the wave to reach the object without coming back, and we divide that by the speed of sound in air. And here basically I say if the distance is greater than or equal to 25 centimeters, then both motors will go for it. And else, which means if the distance is less than 25 uh, centimeters, then the one motor will go forward and the other will go backward which will cause the car to uh, rotate and it will keep on rotating until there is uh, until there is no more object detected and the reason why I added a delay because the ultrasonic sensor will actually stop detecting the object while the car will still actually collide with the object if it uh, moves for a few uh, centimeters so I found that by adding a delay and I found it under to be the optimal delay uh, this would prevent any collisions uh, between the car and any objects uh, the code is uh, very straightforward and easy so let's uh, upload it onto our Arduino alright guys so now it's time to mount the Arduino I will be mounting it in the back here since I'm not using these PT coders I will remove them for now to add more room for my Arduino and I will be using this spacer to mount the in place. Alright guys, so now we move on to connecting the wires onto the Arduino. I will be using this 5 wire connector to get the wires from my edge bridge to the Arduino. The first connection is the ground of the uh, H-bridge to the ground of the Arduino. And then the in one of the H-bridge will go to pin 3 on my Arduino. And then the in 2 on the H-bridge will go to pin 5 on the Arduino. And then the in 3 will go to pin 6 on the Arduino. And then the in 4 on the H bridge will go to pin 9 on my Arduino. Now to the ultrasonic sensor connections. Firstly, the ground of the ultrasonic sensor will go to the ground on the Arduino. And then the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor will go to pin 10 on the Arduino. And then the trigger pin on the uh, ultrasonic sensor will go to pin 2 on the Arduino and then finally the VCC on the, the ultrasonic sensor will go to the 5 volts on the Arduino and then I'll be using some electrical tape to secure the wires on the Arduino Guys, now it's time to test if everything is working fine. So I will be using this 9 volt battery to test. Alright guys, everything it seems to work perfectly fine. As you can see the wheels work as expectedly. So let's connect the switch and the battery holder and we will be done. Position. 
all right guys so this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed please leave a like leave a comment telling me what do you think i should do next and don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next video